What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix here coming at you with another cryptocurrency stream. And guys, the Bitcoin price is dropping a little bit. We're sitting at around 10,850 right now, guys. Definitely below 11,000. Does that mean that we are bearish now and that some lower times are right around the corner? That's definitely something I want to talk about. There's definitely a lot of Bitcoin whale clusters hovering around 9,800 price range. Does that mean that we are going to break down even further and actually fill that CME futures gap, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if that sounds good to you guys, be sure to subscribe and like, and I'm going to dive right into the price action. So, guys, we're going to start with Bitcoin here. We're still in that ascending wedge here. Still kind of just bouncing around here, looking like we're about to test supports at around 10,800. But we are in the lower Bollinger Band. The EMA 20 is dipping down towards the EMA 55. It does look like some lower times are right around the corner, meaning we could break down. And if we break down past 10,738, then that would be a not good sign putting in a lower low for the short term, which basically means that we could end up at some slightly lower prices. It's that simple, guys. Now, supposedly a lot of Bitcoin whales are moving their money to exchanges right now. So that could also play into a factor that could be some sell offs coming. There's definitely a lot of stuff that could be going on, but what we want to see in the Bitcoin price is a little bit of a pressure up, back up towards 11,000 here. The EMA 20 to pinch back up towards the top here of the top Bollinger Band, and uh, the candles get out towards the middle Bollinger Band. Okay, guys, that's what we want to see. If we don't see that, we will break down into this, into this orange box here, and that's just inevitable. But Hopefully the bulls can step in and push it a different direction. Now guys, I wanted to be quick on Bitcoin. I want to talk a little bit about Ox. Ox is basically at that level that I was talking about having a good buy opportunity for a good flip. So if it gets in a little bit lower and we can get in around 26 to 27, which basically is right where it is at now, just a little bit lower, that would be, I believe, a good buy opportunity. And hopefully you can get out at somewhere like 0.31. They'll get another spike up. You've seen it a few times here after a good downtrod. So that's, you know, from top to bottom here, that's a 42%. Let's just say from top to bottom here, that's 25%. So will it go much lower or is this the kind of drop that we've been anticipating? Guys, I've been talking about buying OXT at around 26, 27. It's right there right now. So I'll be looking to get in at 0.26. That's where I'm going to be buying in. So almost there already, 0.268. So I'm going to be watching that over the next hour, guys. If you get in there, let me know, and we can ride it together. And guys, I want to talk a little bit about Electronium. Electronium's still in that red box. We're still bouncing off the support. Hopefully, we can get back up into this ascending wedge. As you guys know, the, every ascending wedge has broken down out of it to the downside after we had a descending triangle. And then a little bit more downtrod. We broke down just about to where I predicted. And we've been moving up. We've been following this channel for quite some time. What's going to happen now? Are we getting another descending triangle kind of going on right here? Does that mean we're going to get another break to the downside? As you can see, guys, something like that. Let's just put it right there for now. Move it a little further. So are we getting another descending triangle? It definitely looks like we could be, guys, okay? So that means we could end up breaking down even further, maybe testing back towards the levels we were just at. But, you know, we still have some bullish sentiment here. The EMA 20 still is above the EMA 55. We are on the bottom Bollinger Band, though, so hopefully we can get a little bit of consolidation to the upside here. So, for instance, it getting above the middle Bollinger Band and moving sideways out of this triangle to the right, that would be a really good sign. We want to kind of touch back up into this this ascending wedge here, this green ascending wedge, so that we can hopefully end up in the green box, say by the end of the month. That would be a good sign, guys. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Electronium is going down right now? Do you think it's going sideways? Do you think we're going to get a little bit more pressure and we're going to build up a little bit? Let me know what you guys think. And I wanted to talk about the Bitcoin whale clusters showed around 9,800 support is now weaker despite a rally, which means a price drop could be right around the corner. So according to data from WhaleMap, an on-chain analysis firm that tracks Bitcoin whales, the 9,800 support has weakened. The researchers at Whale Map track whale activities by following addresses owned by whales, individual investors that own large sums of BTC, they explain. Some hodler activity yesterday, bubbles shown where these hodler coins 
we're coming from. The biggest bubbles come from the pre-corona area at 9,800. To me, this means support at 9,800 just got a little weaker. So there that is, guys, but there it is being bigger. And you can see all the red dots that are around those prices, guys. So bad news if Bitcoin drops below 10,000. So since the data shows that some whales have bought back at 9,800, might be preparing to sell, an argument could be made that the support has weakened. So, But whether the weakening support would mean BTC would drop below 9,800 is a different scenario. The 9,800 level is weaker than before, but that does not necessarily mean BTC would drop below this as a result. A short-term bearish scenario could play out if other whales push BTC down to the 9,800 support level. Only then, a weak support could amplify the downtrend of BTC in the near term. And here, guys, furthermore, on that whale map, red bubbles shown locations at which the hodlers originally held their BTC before transacting it. So imagine you bought Bitcoins at the $20,000 peak. And yesterday you decided to send them to the exchange, for instance, in this scenario, red bubble at 2017 peak would appear. So guys, do you think that, that Bitcoin whales are actually planning to sell their coin right now? Or do you think that they're just moving to exchange, mess everyone up? Or do you think that a big sell-off is in, in right around the corner? We're going to end up back seeing some of these lower prices. Guys, I think that we're still bullish. Okay, maybe we could get a little bit lower price just to fill the CME futures gap. But those kind of little... 10% price action, you know, that's that's anticipated with Bitcoin. That's just regular stuff. If we got like a 50% drop from right now, yeah, guys, that would be scary and definitely a very bearish sign. And we'd be below the 9,600 CME futures gap. We'd be below the legacy support line. We'd be below a lot of things, guys. So that would turn me bearish very quickly. But I don't think that's something that's going to happen. And I think that Bitcoin is going to actually continue to push up in this wedge. We might fill the CME gap eventually someday, but, you know, it's... It's one of those things that might be forgotten about for right now, at least we can forget about it until we're back down towards those ranges. But guys, if a BTC sell-off happens, we could end up right back down there. So from here down to the CME futures gap, that's only a 10% drop, guys. So it's very possible, just keep that in mind, guys, moving forward, that there could be a drop like that right around the corner. And guys, that's all I have time for today. Uh, my aunt is still in town, so I'm trying to get as much hanging out with them and her as I can. And guys, don't forget about my Ledger Nano S. One of my first 500 subscribers are in it to win this Ledger Nano S. And if you're not familiar with Ledger Nano, it's definitely the safest way to keep your crypto off of the exchanges and right under your nose so you don't lose it. You don't want to get hacked or lose your money. You're very susceptible to those kind of things in crypto. And you got to you got to take care of yourself. It's just very important. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting. I've been getting tons of views. I've been getting subs every single time I upload a video. And I can't express enough, guys. I'm just having a great time. And I can't wait for the days where I actually hit monetization levels and I can do more for you guys, like hire an editor and you know someone to like spiff up my videos, make them a little bit more flashy. And I'd like to do giveaways all the time. So guys, help me get there, spread the word of my page, you know, talk about what I'm doing, talk about my calls, spread the word so that people actually come and watch my channel and make you know make the good gains that we're all making, guys. You gotta spread the word for me. I, I rely on you guys very much for that kind of stuff, just like you rely on me for the calls. So it's definitely a, you know, a mutual thing that we all got going here. And guys, I've still got you know, another eight months before I could even think about being monetized. So you know, as for now, I'm just doing this for you guys. And I hope that you guys are profiting very well. It's as simple as that. So anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. I am Crypto Matrix. I'll catch you guys later.